Everyone should have a grappling hook. All right, we did it. We're gonna have infinite Katarinas. Violence solves everything. Boy. Let's go. Infinite Katarina. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for an infinite Katarina deck. This is going to be a crazy combo deck, uh, you know, perfect for meme tier day. So the goal of the deck is to be able to eventually have zero cost ca leveled up Katarina that you get to continually play over and over and over again and kill the opponent because you just strike infinitely. That's going to be the goal of the deck. Now, in order to do that, it's, it's difficult to do, for sure, right? Like, that's not going to be an easy thing to do. So in order to do that, what we're going to need is we're going to need action. Get the Warlord's Palace. Count down the 8 for the Warlord's Palace. Get the Warlord's Horde. Count down the 8 for the Warlord's Horde. And create this card right here, Fount of Power. Because Fount of Power says draw 2 and your cards cost 1 less this round. Okay, well, level up Katarina costs 4. One Fount of Power makes it one less. So what we're going to need is four Founts of Powers in the same round so that we can make them cost one less four different times, you know, you know, four of those. So that that's how we get it to be four less, is four of these. So that's it's possible to do, but it's not going to be easy. So in order to do that, we have a couple of things. We need, we have Promising Future that gets you an additional one. So that, you know, that can be two. Now, if we can Promising Future that landmark, and then if we can have Talia... You know, we would want to play three Katarinas in here, but we kind of need a Talia, because then if we can Promising Future the Warlord's Horde and then have Talia copy it, now that's a way right there. Boom, that's four, because, you know, like it doubles with the future, then we copy it, so now we can get four of them with that. That's going to be our easiest way to get it. Otherwise, our other option is to use, like, you know, multiple Promising Futures or Mimic. Mimic will be able to copy the spell in our hand. And, of course, if we... Um, if we have like two of them, like a promising future plus, um, you know, just the promising future already, then we get promising future, we'll get two and then we can like cast one. So our spells cost one less and then cast mimic that costs only two mana. Right. And so on. And so basically we need three total copies of promising futures and mimics together to get us the, um, zero cost Katarina. Now mimic is kind of nice because it works after afterwards right again like let's say we have promising future and our font font of powers so we make two font of powers remember these do draw two so they do get you down into the deck so we can like play one draw and we draw two maybe that's where we find our mimic we cast our mimic like we were talking about now you get to play another one and draw two more and try to look for the for the last mimic like that um you know so that's going to be kind of what we're going to be doing it's not going to be easy but if we can pull it off we get to draw a lot of cards with that, which would, which will hopefully help us find the Katarina, and we can make Katarina cost zero, and um, yeah, then hopefully the opponent doesn't have any answer to Katarina either, and then we, uh, you know, keep playing Katarina. So that's going to be the goal of the deck. Now to get there, we of course have to have action, um, or you know we can have the Vagabond first start the Warlord's Palace, right? You can do either one. But you have to have your level up action. So you're going to have to have like a lot of ways to target your own um, allies for this countdown, right? We have to get these countdowns going. We have to get them going pretty fast. So we're going to have reforge tokens in here. So Blade Squire, Rune Weaver, Weapon Hilt, those things will be able to reforge. And those will count towards your leveling up your action. Also, those tokens will, will be able to... Um, be like a really cheap card to target one of our allies of course so then we can enable grappling hook with that so we'll be able to like go reforge then grappling hook for some removal whirling death some removal but then for some other top end units just to have a couple more units in here we're gonna have profiteer and and the bruiser they get to create lucky finds and those lucky finds will again be another you know one for the countdown so there we go that's gonna be our deck that's infinite katarina uh, let's see if we can ever pull off the combo. Sure hope we can at least once. Let's go play some games. <laughs> All right, Zareth Zillion, they are a slower deck. Maybe we can have some time. All right, we need to keep Promising Future. 
Let's send these two back. Chronomancer will help us find... All right. I was going to say it'll help us find Vagabond or Action, but there's a couple of Vagabonds right there. So we, we're still going to need to find Action. Hey, there's Action right there. Even though we'll probably need a second Action, right, for like the leveled up, but maybe not. Okay, we're already doing a good job counting this down. Ooh, Whirling Death is good with action. Watch me. I'll get out. Because that's a target for action and a strike for action, so that's two more. So now that's at four. Goes down to three. Let's make that two. No! Oh, that was about to play the Vagabond. Mm. Wow, I was about to play that Vagabond. Okay, well now we have Triple Promising Future, which is awesome. So all we have to do is... Um, Alright, I don't really want any of these. Well, Weapon Hilt? Weapon Hilt is two targets. That could be nice on the action, actually. Yeah, these are all focus speed, unfortunately. I can't burst quick attack one of these. Please don't kill my action. Just pass, just pass, just pass. Okay. Well. Because <clears throat> just in case they found, like, the three mana deal four, right? I need to do this right now, so... Because we need this action level up. There we go. Now we got the horde. Alright, we don't need any of these. Skip it. Alright, Mimic's cool. All right, so now the thing is, is don't have another desert naturalist, right? <laughs> That's the thing. I guess we also need this Warlord's Horde to level up, and so it's going to take a little while for the Warlord's Horde to level up. Time is winding. I'm not worried about finding Katarina, because if this works, we're drawing eight cards. We're going to draw Katarina if this works. So that's I'm not worried about that. The Katarina. I'm worried about this working. Gonna catch the sky. Right, I'm worried about them having landmark destruction. Ride negation. That's gonna protect against landmark destruction. Because this is a skill that we, we can get rid of. I guess I don't attack with this thing and maybe just have it for... No, because it has, it has Vulnerable anyway. I can't really have it for a blocker. Just a moment. I love that trade. I want that trade very much. Alright, good. Down to five. Explosives, big and small, I got them all. That thing's silly. This 
This would have like already been. Oh man, then we can copy it with Talia. We get eight of these warlords hordes, or, like eight of these sentinels hordes. Come on, why? Did... Oh, man, that thing a scout. Why did they have to kill us? Why don't they just let us have fun? If it... arsenal. Yes, it'd be eight of those that they would all draw two and make our cards cost one less. We would theoretically draw 16 cards and they would all cost eight mana less if it wasn't just for these stupid arsenals that are going to kill us. At least that one doesn't have Overwhelm. So that's cool. Does this one also not have Overwhelm? It has Fearsome, though. Cool. Okay. That's not so bad. Yeah, that, that doesn't kill us too fast. Alright, just saving the right negation mana just in case. Alright. Alright, now that's at three. You know how it is. So now it goes to here. We can strike, make it two. Come on, something targets? <gasps> Lucky find. Okay. So we need to. Okay, let's just try to strike first. I don't want to use right negation to protect that right now. Oh my gosh, we may be able to do it. We may be able to do it. Wait. I won't have the attack token, though. For Katarina, will I? For my first Katarina that's, that's not leveled up. Hmm. I didn't think that part through. Oh, yeah, we have... We can get Grappling Hook. This is ten cards. Can I do... Yes, we don't... Yeah, I wish I didn't attack. I wish I would have played the Profiteer first. I'm getting cards out of my hand, of course. Look at it sparkle. Yeah, we have to find Grappling Hook now. We can do it if we find Grappling Hook. Or... This is any card, right? Oh, it has to be a spell? Ugh. So I've already had two actions die, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No going back. Yeah, Whirling Death has to be battling. Okay. 
advancing this warlord toward. It's just a Grappling hook, there we go. All right, we in there. We are in there. I think we did it. A masterwork of destruction. We got double ride negation backup also. Unless they have frostbite. Double quicksand. Let's just kill this thing that's stunned. All right, we did it. We're gonna have infinite Katarinas. Violence solves everything. Boy. Let's go. Infinite Katarina. Stop stunning stuff. Never play fair. Quick as the blade. I don't know, I'll, I'll challenge you. Yeah, that's just gonna be game, because they, they can't do anything. They're gonna concede, because we just play Katarina over and over and over until they die. And that's victory. But like I said, I wasn't concerned about... Yeah, that's definitely why we played the one with Talia. But I wasn't concerned about finding the Katarina. I was I was worried, like, once we got that going. Good thing we had the grappling hook also for the strike. Send Mimic back, I guess? The Mimic's kind of necessary if we get to, like, the end game. Yeah, the blade fragments and the grappling hook, those definitely both did their job. They... They were definitely necessary. You know how it is. You know how it is. Ooh, got to strike with action. You know how it is. So if I mimic the action's grappling hook, will we get a new action in hand? Kind of wondering for science purposes. Um, I still have, still have ride negation. Villains beware. All right, you can do that. They grow up so fast. What's up, Hayden? All right, level up action. All right, we got the horde. And we have one promising future for the horde. Focus speed? Oh, I wanted to, I was gonna play the five two and block and be like ha 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 ha. I've got the race. That doesn't work like that. Alright, the vagabond doesn't help anymore. I think I'm gonna skip. I could take the blade squire. Um blade squire is not that bad actually. Alright, yeah. Righteously reclaiming. Just like how cheap it is. No, 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 no. Oh, I wanted that Talia. 
I would have copied Warlord's Horde. But at first, I was still I was still really worried about getting rid of the future. Promising future. Oh man. Get rid of Artalia. Okay. So we're at seven, six, five, four, three, two. Seven mana. So seven, seven for the horde, but I guess we're also at seven mana. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, this is a really greedy line, but this is like the best line for leveling up my Warlord's Horde. But yeah, that's why this was a really greedy line. That's alright. Man, we're gonna die from these puff caps, aren't we? So we need another mimic. Okay. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Swiftly. We could if everything works out perfectly, we could theoretically kill our opponent this round. If everything works out perfectly. Hug it out. Listen to me. But then again, oh yeah, because I guess I'd have to play grappling hook. Okay. But then again, we can also die to puffcaps. This round also. It's a very real chance. I don't need No, don't do it to me. Alright, no puff caps. Doesn't look like it's gonna work. Come on, Katarina. We need Katarina and uh, and a strike card. Doesn't look like we're getting them. All right, so this these two cards. We only get. Looks like we only got two more cards. Oh, I, why why am I not predicting first? Yeah, we could predict predict first. Katarina. Okay, there's Katarina. Now we need. We have Katarina on top. I don't know why I didn't predict before. We need exactly Katarina plus either action or grappling hook. We need one of those two to go along with Katarina as the other card. Katarina. No! So it looks like, like, we have three Whirling Deaths and two Grappling Hooks, I think. It looks like we should have more Grappling Hooks. We need, I think that's one thing we should, we should probably change about the deck after this game. Like, let's take out a Whirling Death and put in an additional Grappling Hook. Yeah, we gotta go to three Grappling Hook. How can we make another Warlord's Horde? I don't, I don't think we can. This thing has to strike. It can't strike. Rex goes bag loop. I mean, I could have made a palace, but... 
We just had if one of those two whirling deaths was a grappling hook, we win that game. How crazy like that's that's the crazy thing right there. We would have won that game if one of those two whirling deaths was a grappling hook. Okay, we're gonna make that uh small change here. We're gonna take out we had three whirling death, two grappling hook. We're gonna go go the other way around. Because you know we could be two and oh if, if that was their grappling hook there. And then we're also gonna play we're gonna take out the bruiser and play one siphoning strike as just another way to strike from the back. Um there we go. So that's gonna be two small changes to make that will just add in two two additional cards that can strike uh they can have katarina strike to be able to start the combo it's crazy that we've been able to have the combo work twice though obviously we hate playing against puff caps because we draw you know like with our combo we're going to draw a ton of cards so hate playing against these puff caps let's keep the promising no we have to send it all back yeah, because we had to find this stuff early and we have to be able to deal with Teemo and all that kind of stuff. It would be nice to have three Katarina, but we can't because you have to have three action. Like, action is the most important thing because, you know, we have to get to the Warlord's Horde. So we have to have three action, but then we also really need that Talia. Having a Talia is really useful. So it's, it's just unfortunate. We just don't get to play the three Katarina, even though that would be cool. Yes, that's the Lucky Find Synergy. It's zero mana advanced landmark, yes. And it also helps enable Grappling Hook. Good people don't look the other way. But it, it gives you like the it gives you a body to play that also advances landmark. So I didn't get to play the didn't get to play the Squire, even though I wanted to, because we're gonna have to Blades Edge this Teemo this round. Right, we have to kill this Teemo. So I had to have Blade's Edge. The one mana for Blade's Edge. I just think I think the Profiteer is just a better body than Curator. We are already we already have like other stuff. We already have three units to play on round two that we're happy with. So I know Curator is for later on, but I would just rather have like the five three and stuff also. So Caitlyn Teemo is the most popular deck in the format. It's very good. They had round one Teemo, round two Mystic Shot, your action, round three Caitlyn. Our combo deck that takes a long time is probably not going to be winning this matchup with that kind of round one, two, three. That's okay. That's just kind of how it is. Suspicious activity detected just outside the station. Stay on him. Backup's on the way. That's a very impressive hand. All part of the plan. One step ahead. Carry your own gear. Obviously, my plan was to Blade Fragment plus Grappling Hook. Up a I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. So the thing about Predict is it does shuffle them, so the Flash Bombs aren't necessarily just in the top 10 anymore. We can't take Talia. We can't. We're a long ways away from needing a Talia. Chronomancer will shuffle this up again, but yeah, this this hand is just brutal that they had. Just shut us down really good. Oh, 
it shows the spells too. I didn't know that did that. We, they, sh they just shut us down. Can we go back and play against the slow deck again? <laughs> this one at least isn't giving us the puff caps and everything. So like our, our final plan of draw a whole lot of cards um, is still good. We have to get out and play defense early. Let's keep the Vagabond, get other blockers. Hello. No, the deck's always had three action. The plugin says I have three Katarina and two action. I don't know why it says that. There's always been three action in the deck. No, we haven't finished It Takes Two yet. We've, uh, we're have we going to play again this next upcoming Friday. Um, it is it is probably like a 12-hour game, and so we played it for like three hours the past two Fridays. So this next Friday, um, right around, I think, 7.30 Eastern time is, you know, as long as that still works with boot, that's whenever we'll join it. Uh, and, and redo it again, and we're gonna keep on keep on playing it because it's awesome. It takes two is a really fun game. I've been very happy with it. Cool. You had a, you had a, you enjoyed watching it. Awesome. So yeah, uh, come back this Friday again, and Boot and I are gonna continue playing. So I think we should be about halfway done. Six hours into the 12. Damn it. Let's get to it. Do it. I guess that wasn't the best thing to play. I was thinking that that would be cool, but then I guess I don't actually get to block with the Katarina. Unless I want Katarina to die. Then we're only left with one Katarina left in the deck. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best play. All right, we're left with one Katarina in the deck. We can do it. We just have to stay alive. Yeah, she did kill a whole lot of stuff, so that's good. We'll see which one of us is stronger, Akshan. Have we? Akshan. Gotta go with the flow. Villains beware. Okay. They grab and make it rain. I kind of figured, I thought that they would like maybe have fervor and that I want to like respond with whirling death to fervor. Cool eye patch. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight! Limbridum! Gift out the sub. Thank you so much. Why don't I have a plus two? I need a plus two plus zero, then grappling hook. Alright, overwhelm. Now let's just do a quick attack, quick attack. I have two grappling hooks though? Cost too much mana. Man, this thing's at four out of five. All right, got Gangplank out of here. That's pretty cool. Okay, you're at five. You know real value when you see it, my friend. Would you look at that? In and out. You poor thing.
Okay, so basically if they had a fervor, we'd have like that kind of whirling death type card, but they didn't. We'd have the grappling hook. The problem here, I guess, is we are going to level this up without... You know, we're going to have to get a hold another one and level that one up also. To Infinite Katarina. Yeah, we're just not gonna we're not gonna be able to infinite Katarina with this. Okay. These hands know metal and magic. Silly thing. Let's make a rain for them. So that's summon or strike. Because there's no reason not to just play this card right now. No going back. I'm just trying to think, do I want to plus two plus zero the action and then grappling hook or wait till next round where we get better plus two plus like the plus two plus zero is more useful. I guess. Yeah, we can do it right now. All right, cool. How about that? I was gonna say, I guess we get the, the Blade of the Exile by doing that. And then we can put the Blade of the Exile on action as well. It's actually possible we may have been able to do the Infinite Katarina the next round. Depending on if we could have got that Warlord's Horde to level up or not. All right, and finally we got Draven Scion, another aggressive deck. Opponents, stop with all the aggro. I want to play against the slow control deck, the, the Zillion Zareth. So that first game was so awesome. And then game two, we could have done the same thing if we just had Grappling Hook instead of Whirling Death. We almost pulled it off game two as well. to keep us safe. Listen to me. We definitely need to find action. If it wasn't action, I was probably going to mulligan or like, you know, send him away, but I guess Vagabond advances too and gets us a good blocker. But I don't know, maybe I should have just send that away also because we, we have to find action. If I did plus zero, plus two, it would have also died. Action. No. Must be nice living off the only thing about using that overwhelm is, you know, now I don't have, like, overwhelm plus grappling hook. Uh, that's okay, right? I can, I can hourglass it and then make another warlord's palace. I think I'm going to let that happen, though. I don't know. I could... Because Hourglass levels us up. Oh, because we don't even make a Warlord's Horde right now. No, let's send it back. All right, let's, let's just let that happen. All right, action. No action. Action. 
Yes, there we go. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. One scoundrel at a time. Good people don't look the other way. Never play fair. Some blades edge of this fallen rider. No. Oh, that makes life worse. Good draw. Good draw. That's how that go. Is that is that their third get excited? No, okay, that's their second. But they've had two two get excited and two mystic shots, right? I think. I probably should have I probably should have blades edged my Katarina. That would have reduced the count on this Warlord Sword one. That's what I I should have done that. Oh really? Now right negation? Now that we don't have anything left to write to <laughs> to counter. Oh, that was their third. That's too bad. Almost got to combo, but couldn't quite level up that Warlord Sword quite enough. That's too bad, but still really fun deck. Definitely a good meme tier deck here. We got to do the infinite combo once. We almost got to do it a second game. If we would have had this list, we would have done it twice. You know, because then probably one of those Whirling Deaths would have been a grappling hook and would have been able to do it twice. You know, and didn't quite get there the third game. Really good hand with all those challengers and all those get excited. We drew the right negation the round too late also. That was frustrating. Like the round after they used all those spells, then we had... <laughs> then we drew the right negation. Oh well. Oh well. So really cool, really cool deck. I'm glad we got to do the combo once, and we got to do it in the first game, so that, that makes it even better for people watching later. All right, so there we go. That's a that's a good meme tier deck. Infinite Katarina, it is possible. Those of you all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and as always, feel free to leave those comments about the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it, and um, you know got to see all those cool things happen. Uh, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. If you play it yourself, let me know how it goes for you. All right, but that's going to be it for Infinite Katarina. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.